Hello and welcome to this video lecture on the topic of refrigerants. Now, before we start off, let us define what a refrigerant is, or you know, maybe better than defining, let us understand what a refrigerant is. Well, a refrigerant is basically a substance or a heat carrying medium. So I'll keep or keep it like this. It's a heat carrying medium. heat carrying medium uh, which during their refrigeration cycle the cycle consists of compression it goes into condenser that is heat rejection then it goes into ev uh, expansion valve and then evaporator and then back into compressor so it's a heat carrying medium which uh, during the cycle uh, in the refrigeration system absorbs heat from a low temperature body or a system and it discards or rejects the heat to a higher temperature surroundings okay so this is what a refrigerant does it absorbs heat from a low temperature system and then rejects or discards that heat uh, to a higher temperature system or surroundings now in earlier days the most common kind of refrigerant that was used was ice okay so ice was used to uh, actually cool a lot of things and then came a lot of other uh, chemicals like ammonia sulfur dioxide methyl chloride and carbon dioxide okay but now a lot of them have been discarded they have been discarded uh, maybe due to some safety reasons they are not safe for industrial or commercial use or they are not very efficient uh, or they cause pollution whatever it is this means uh, uh, continuously uh, research keeps on going on to find out better and better refrigerants uh, which cost less which have low cost uh, which have which produce high uh, cop of the system and which are but obviously non pollutants and non uh, you know they they are quite safe to use in a commercial setup now this means the suitability of a refrigerant for a particular uh, application in refrigeration is determined by its properties and those properties uh, can be uh, physical properties okay it can be the thermodynamic properties uh, it can be chemical properties so broadly speaking if you want to select a refrigerant for a particular application you need to go through all these properties of the mentioned uh, refrigerant and then select the most suitable uh, for the given purpose this means that there is no refrigerant which can be used for all types of application this means there is no ideal refrigerant okay but uh, in these properties we would look at that what kind of properties do we actually desire uh, from a given refrigerant okay let's look at it one by one it should have low boiling point and it should have very low freezing point okay low boiling point and low freezing point then it should have high latent heat of vaporization it should have low specific heat of liquid and high specific heat of vapor it should have high thermal conductivity it should be non corrosive to metals because it flows in you know, metallic pipes and all okay it should be non flammable and non toxic because if there's a leak uh, and there are some personnel working around the system uh, there is a hazard to their health and safety it should be but obviously non explosive and it should be easy to locate if there is a leak it should be highly miscible with the oil because there is some oil lubrication oil uh, used in the uh, refrigeration system compressor so there is some leakage of the oil into the uh, refrigerant side so they, they it should be completely or very highly miscible yes it should be of low cost and easily available and last but not the least that it should give you a high value of the cop of the system so these are you know 
some common properties that you would desire or that you would want uh, the refrigerant to possess okay these are not the only ones they can be a lot of properties that you would uh, want but these are some of the properties 